Hello and welcome to another Robcast, Revenge of the Nerd podcast. Movie review edition. Hello guys, it's me, Rob Cicchetto, your guru of gore, inventor of zombie portraits, and uh, all-around pop culture enthusiast. Uh, I'm back with a movie review, and uh, before I begin, I would just like to say, uh, implore you guys to hopefully this day, Halloween, uh, to uh, get you guys to subscribe to the channel, uh, press that subscribe button, and uh, please join me for more fantastic content as I continue uh, down the pop culture rabbit hole. So, uh, hi! Happy Halloween, guys! It is Halloween, man! And uh, I just came back from watching Terrifier 2, uh, Damien Leone film, uh, the, the second uh, Terrifier movie, and uh, no doubt uh, uh, there will be a third and fourth probably, and many more to come, I, I, I would imagine. Uh, here is my review in a nutshell. I did not like this movie. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I have to be honest. I, I like I don't think you could objectively watch this movie and go, man, that was a great, that was an awesome movie. I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can do that. And look at yourself in the mirror and say, yeah, I, I, I'm being honest with myself and saying that's a great movie. Uh, if you went in for the gore, if you went in looking for tons of gore and that sort of uh, stuff, then absolutely you will be satisfied. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna wait uh, quite a while in between gore scenes, uh, but they do they do deliver. There's no question about that. The practical gore scenes are plentiful uh, in this film, and uh, I, I rather enjoy, like I really enjoyed it for that. I enjoy the Art the Clown character. Uh, I really do, and uh, I love the fact that uh, you don't know really what he is. Like he, he's some sort of, I guess, uh, demonic creature uh, or something, some kind of unexplained supernatural demonic thing. Uh, and I think that's kind of cool, leaving it, leaving it sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, unknown as to what he really is. He's not a vampire. He's not a zombie. He's not, you know, whatever. Blah blah blah. Uh, you know, and he's not it, like he's not the it type clown, he's not anything that we've kind of seen before, uh, I don't think, and I've only seen a movie ever do this sort of gimmick before once, to, to my knowledge, and that was uh, Macabre, which was another incredibly gory, uh, you know, gory film, and I've, I've done a review, it's, it's on my channel if you want to check that out, uh, where you don't know what the, what the monsters or or creatures or whatever are uh, they don't explain what these things are but they just exist and they exist to kill people man so uh, I, I just want to say I saw this movie at the Sudbury Indie Cinema I want to plug them because man I, I, I'm really learning a, a lot about how great that place is and I really love seeing movies there especially horror movies uh, and, and smaller like independent films like man like it, it it seems to just work out perfectly that it is an indie cinema and watching indie movies there uh, you know is, is a is a real blast uh, it's a great experience uh, I'd like to thank uh, Douglas Ewan for uh, that giant dope ass poster behind me uh, yeah <laughs> uh, that was courtesy of sick or the Sudbury indie creature con uh, so I would like to thank them for that. I did the original art for the poster, by the way. Uh, there it is. Uh, so yeah, that uh, that was a lot of fun doing that. That was the poster to advertise the event, of course. Uh, but getting to the movie, yeah, uh, man, it could it could have benefited greatly from uh, from editing, uh, like any kind of editing, man. Uh, it was over two hours long, and I felt like uh, Millhouse at times going, "When are they going to get to the fireworks factory?" Because, uh, you know. Uh, spoiler alert, uh, Chris Jericho is in the opening credits, uh, like his name is in the opening credits and I was like kind of waiting to see him uh, and, and you do eventually see him. But uh, this movie, uh, w as much as I would want to give it a good review because I love indie movies, I love indie horror movies and I love the underdog type you know, situation that a lot of movies that are really great and, and are done with a shoestring budget but are fantastic. 
uh, you know, kind of, kind of do. And I, I, I you know, I, I just can't. Uh, I, I just can't. I got to be honest with myself. And like I said, if you're honest with yourself and you saw this movie, you know that it wasn't good. Uh, you, you know, if you were just there for the gore, uh, then you were satisfied. And yes, uh, anyone who's into that specifically will not go away uh, unsatisfied by by the stuff that you see it's excessive uh, even kids aren't you know they're not even afraid to frag kids in this man uh, you know it's women and children first man. <laughs> in this movie uh, uh but in the opposite way so uh yeah in the in the in the bad way in the bad way uh so uh but i i i you know i have to i have to say that it was just not good it didn't follow any rules even its own rules and uh i'm going to i'm gonna uh, you know spoil it i uh, you know if you guys want you know what i feel you know how i feel about it at this point uh I, i'm gonna i'm gonna give you some spoilers man and if you want to if you want to click off now uh watch the movie and then and then come back watch this video again and let me know if you agree with me or not on some of these things but uh, you know, there's this, uh, what happens is, uh, there's this little girl version, uh, the scary little girl version of the Terrifier that he sees, uh, like almost right, right from the get go, right when he sort of comes back alive, obviously in the, in the morgue, uh, you know, and he goes to a laundromat to like wash his clothes, I guess, because I guess blood. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, he sees this little girl Terrifier character like i guess that appears of out of nowhere uh and you know he he starts playing pat a cake with with this with this new character uh and there's a dude in in the uh, laundromat that's asleep but he sort of wakes up and wa and sees this like naked terrifier because his clothes is in the, uh, clothes are in the wash playing with nothing like there's nothing there so it's like it's all in terrifier's mind i guess uh, but that character, that little girl character, shows up as a tangible character later on and actually does things to, like, conveniently to move the plot along. And it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And if it does, if I miss something, guys, tell, explain, explain it to me, please. Anyone that worked on the movie that sees this video, please tell me how this how this worked because it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, and neither did it when we talk, when we fin everyone finished the movie. We we're in the lobby. I was actually signing some some prints, and we were kind of talking about it, and, and everyone kind of agreed. And I was like, I I can't not see that. You know, I can't I can't shut my brain off enough for me to enjoy that because it just happened and it doesn't make a lick of sense and there's a lot of things that basically are like that in this movie where you know oh well uh uh terrifier's got a van now he's got a van he's uh he's jeepers creepers now and he's uh you know he needs a van he's got one there's one there and that's it and no explanation whatsoever but uh he's stalking people with a van now i guess because the plot needs that and the, you know time and time again there's like head scratching things where you're like well why how who uh, uh, well you know the, you're you're often bewildered by the actions and there's a lot of stuff that basically ha like there's a lot of shots that are just there over and over and over again and like i said editing uh, a, a really quick editing job could actually change this movie exponentially because it's it's over two hours long yeah man it's over two it's 138 minutes long uh so absolutely unnecessary this thing could have been cut down to like a, an hour 45 probably and and been even more more coherent than what it is uh so i i have to say uh you know as much as i wanted to you know uh give this movie a great glowing review uh i, I can't I, I i just can't i have to be honest and that's all i can ever be uh i i am not beholden to anyone i do not bend the knee to anyone or anything any company any person or anything like that in these videos it is the straight observe and report that you've always enjoyed from any of my reviews 
uh, and I can't sugarcoat this one as much as I'd like to. The only thing I will say is, like I said earlier, uh, Gorehounds will really enjoy this. But again, there are many, many, many movies out there that are more coherent that have a lot of gore in them and you'll be satisfied with. Uh, again, though, I do love Art, Art the Clown. That character is fantastic. I really love the the kid, the, the, the girl version of him. She's like super creepy. And I don't say that often, man. I like, I don't use, I don't use terms, oh, she's so creepy. I like, I like really, really, uh, they really did a great job of, of uh, uh, envisioning her and what, what that character would look like. Uh, and uh, I think it's great. And you know, uh, there is inevitably going to be a third and fourth, as I mentioned. Uh, you know, it's only a matter of time. And you know what? Uh, they'll all do good, despite me doing this review. Uh, I, and you know what? They'll be okay. Uh, they're very competent filmmakers, you know, except for the, those things. Uh, and maybe, maybe those things were done on purpose. How, what do I know? Uh, it seems more and more that when I watch movies nowadays, there's so much shit that I, I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense. But nobody, nobody seems to care. And it's like, oh yeah, it's the best movie ever. So, uh, you know, what, what do I know? Uh, all I gotta say is, you know, I've been around for a long time. If you're like 12, 13, 14, you know, and you're going to see this movie, you've never seen, you haven't seen a lot of movies, you'll love this, man, because it doesn't need to make sense. You're just there for the gore. But if you're there and you've, you know, you've, you've watched horror movies all your life, and here's the disadvantage that this movie had. I watched uh, Men, uh, Alex Garland's new new movie. I watched uh, Barbarian, which I thought was you know good, interesting, you, you know very unique. And I watched uh, uh, Guillermo del Toro's uh, Cabinet of Curiosities, like the entire series before seeing this movie. So I had like a really you know huge amount, uh, like a, a high pedigree, very top notch uh, you know directors and films to watch before seeing this. So I guess it diminished this movie so much more because man I just came off this high of watching all these great things so or, or more competently edited things at least uh, so you know uh, it, I guess that that was a disadvantage this film had in, in terms of me watching it but uh, you know honestly guys it wasn't that great that's all I can say uh, there's my review <laughs> And uh, I'm not I'm not here to shit on anyone. Uh, like every you know everyone did a great job. In, in, you know in this movie, like the actors did a great job. Uh, every you know it, it was it was you know satisfying for people who are into gore more than anything else. And that's all I've got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that uh, subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have comments and if you, you know, if you think I'm dead wrong about this, uh, tell me in the comments section. If you enjoyed this movie on, on a different level, man, uh, then let me know. Uh, you know, if I miss something where, uh, you know, things are explained and I'm just too dumb to <laughs> figure it out, then tell me in the comments section. But I'm pretty sure that uh, watching this movie with a uh, clear head and uh, open eyes uh, it's not that good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to get those, man. Thank you for watching so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Uh, and have a ho happy Halloween uh, forever and ever. Okay. Thank you. Bye for now.